Hello, I'm Davis Lamson, one of the physicians at the Tahoma Clinic of Dr. Jonathan Wright in Washington State. I'd like to speak to you today about the announcement on June 7, 2021 by the Food and Drug Administration on the approval of what was called the first new treatment for mild Alzheimer's disease in 20 years. This was with some fanfare, but differing opinions by scientists and physicians. Previously, treatment had been offered only for symptoms. The new offering is an antibody given intravenously every month, which would cost many thousands, not entirely covered by insurance. The treatment was touted to deal with the underlying cause of Alzheimer, the amyloid protein deposited as plaque in the brain. That statement is not completely true. Since Alzheimer does not occur in everyone, the real underlying cause is what drives the amyloid plaque to be deposited. That appears to be a combination of individual tendency plus the oxidative and inflammatory conditions of modern life. Those factors are not easily managed, so we're dealing with treatment, not prevention. However, the FDA announcement obscures something of which we need to be reminded. If there is an over-the-counter enzyme that removes amyloid plaque from the brain for a few dollars instead of many thousands, you won't hear from it from a pharmaceutical company. There's relatively little money to be made from an unpatentable natural enzyme. I want to quickly add that I'm not against the pharmaceutical industry. It has achieved some miraculous results, but I'm just speaking of what could be called the economic industrial facts of life. There are three points to understand about information to fall. The first one is that nanokinase is known to be an enzyme safe as in humans, both as a pure enzyme and as a component of a Japanese soul food eaten for maybe a thousand years. Second, there is no official trial of natokinase for Alzheimer in humans, even though natokinase is used for other conditions. Third, but there is a scientific report that using animals with Alzheimer, natokinase completely removed the amyloid plaque from the brain. Now, I have a brief look at results of three research reports on natokinase from 2009 to 2017. The first slide shows the title of the research report at the top of the page. The next line is the journal reference that it's in in 2009. Coming down to the bullet points, it says, in a laboratory test tube experiment, natokinase caused chemical breakdown of amyloid protein. Now that's all well and good, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen in us. However, the report stated that further animal studies were needed to evaluate the therapeutic potential of natokinase, good idea. The next slide is, again, the title at the top of the page. The next is the reference. And the first bullet point says, Alzheimer-like disease was chemically induced in rats. The deposit of amyloid protein in the rat brain was substantiated. They fed them uh, each of two enzymes separately for a fairly limited amount of time and it gave either reduction or complete disappearance of amyloid depending on how much dose was used. So the quotation at the bottom is from the paper, thus these enzymes may have a therapeutic application in the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Yep, that's a pretty good idea. You notice it took from 2009 to 2013 to come up with that conclusion from the laboratory experiment to animals. The next slide is the development, uh, the, the title is at the top, the next is the reference. And then the first bullet says, this appears to be a high-tech attempt to make a drug of natokinase. See, remember, this is an inexpensive material. No pharmaceutical company is going to put out natokinase, calling it natokinase. It's very cheap. So they used a method to specially encapsulate it, and they speculated that perhaps this would make better penetration of the brain. But that's a dodge, because note the rat didn't have any trouble getting the natokinase into the brain. And that brings us down to the end, which is just the big question about natokinase. Why is there no study of this safe and inexpensive material on Alzheimer in humans? A word of caution. If you're interested in the use of natokinase, in this case, please resist the human tendency to be your own physician. Hopefully, you'll recall there's an old quotation about doing that. Natokinase is a mild blood thinner, so it's possible to get in trouble from ignorant enthusiasm. Plus, all bottles of natokinase are not the same. So please get a physician experienced with natokinase.
Tahoma Clinic is here if needed. The clinic physicians understand that natural therapies tend to have fewer side effects and be safer and healthier. Thank you for listening.